this video, I'm going to bring you along as I go to Walmart and see everything that they have in their fall decor, as well as share everything that I couldn't live without. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin and I absolutely love to make crafts and DIYs, but I also love to bring you along and show you all the new decor that is out in some of my favorite stores. So today I'm shopping Walmart. They just have a lot of really great buys and they're really inexpensive there. So I like to kind of check out Walmart first and uh, try to get inexpensive items. And then if there's something from a higher retail store that I want to splurge on, I don't feel as bad because I got most of my decor really cheap. So make sure you stay tuned to see everything that I picked up at the end. But first, let's go on into Walmart and see everything they have out right now on their shelf. I went in there when they were first putting out um, some of their items and they're already sold out of a few things that I wanted so I hope I can still find them. I do have a couple more Walmarts around that I can go to so I'm gonna check them but uh, if you want something go fast because these items don't stay around very long. So let's go shopping and see what Walmart has to offer. Each other's eyes 
tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Each other, you and me, you 
and me. So I love farmhouse decor and I have a ton of it and I've already made several farmhouse fall DIYs but I just can't stay clear of the traditional color uh, fall decor so I definitely purchased some items from Walmart that still have a lot of oranges and reds in there and some things I thought that I would try just kind of incorporate it and tie it all in together because I still want to use a lot of the stuff that I have accumulated for over the years so I'm just going to try to mix it in so hopefully everything turns out right but I do want to show you everything that I picked up. So the first thing that I picked up was this red lantern. This was $12.44 and it's just like a nice, I guess this is plastic. Um, lantern and it does take batteries and you just turn it on and off but it does have a try me switch and it has these beautiful little fairy lights in here my husband loves lanterns it's always been his thing so he really enjoys whenever I set them around the house uh, but this actually reminded me of Christmas so I'll try to put it out for fall I think it would be really cute but I, I mostly was excited to have this for Christmas and I debated whether I wanted to get two of them I always feel like, like especially if I set something up on a shelf or a fireplace or an table, I always feel like I need two of them, but you always spend a lot more money that way, so I just try to get one and bring it home, and then I'll decide if I want to try to go get another one. But uh, last year, I did a ton of Christmas videos doing like a lantern and red and black uh, buffalo check theme, uh, kind of like rustic country Christmas. So I'll definitely probably do that again this year. I have so much decor for that. So I am so excited to try this for Christmas. The next thing that I picked up was these two little houses. These remind me of like primitive decor, but I thought that they would be really cute just to bring them out for fall. They don't go 100% with my farmhouse decor or my neutral decor, but this will add little pops of color. I just thought they were too cute to leave behind. They have these little galvanized roofs and then the little chimney, a galvanized door, and a pumpkin, and then they also had the little small ones. They had a little small white house, which would have matched better with my decor, but one of the little chimney tops was broken off, so I didn't want to purchase anything that was already damaged, so I just ended up getting the orange one. If I find a white one, and I hope I do, I'll go ahead and pick it up, but like I say, I just thought these were cute, and they will add little pops of color around my home. The next thing that I picked up was this wooden pumpkin. I just thought it was really pretty. It's like three dimensional. It's got um, little layers of wood on there and you can see that they have distressed the edges of that. I'm obsessed with distressing, but as you can tell, it's just really uh, makes it look so cute and adds like color to it, uh, making the natural wood show through. But this is actually like engraved Hello Fall wooden pumpkin. I just thought that it was really cute and it has this little wooden natural wood stem on there and I think this is really pretty and it would go really well with a lot of my neutral decor and add the pop of orange in there. Walmart has out a lot of tiny little pieces which are perfect for DIYs. They had like these tiny little pumpkins that were under two dollars. They were $1.97 and they're just like little cream colored pumpkins. These would be perfect to put in front of like a galvanized bucket or basket or kind of spice up anything. You also could put like little dowel rods attached to the back of these and set them down in a bouquet. And these are just really cute and you could use them on a million things. So I just went ahead and picked these up. They have out a ton of cute little signs. They actually have large signs too for about $16. So I think that's a really good price if you like to hang up a lot of fall decor. I just don't have a lot of wall space and what I do I already have decor that I want to hang up year round. So I don't like to trade in and out unless it's like Christmas time because I decorate early for Christmas. But I thought this was really cute. This was just one of the little $5 signs. It was $4.98 and it says fall in love and it has this galvanized fall and the little leaves and it's like white with my like white wood and then it has the little natural wood. A frame around it which is not really a frame it's just kind of flat and that has the galvanized and the little pops of color so that this would be a really cute way to tie in farmhouse neutrals with the little pops of color so I really like this and they had several different prints of this as well as some jars I didn't get any jars uh, but they do have some really cute ones that would even go all year round for farmhouse decor whenever I'm at Walmart I always run through the floral a section it's right by the chalk paint in my Walmart but I picked up some of this lamb's ear I thought this was really pretty I haven't used lamb's ear in any DIY I don't think I know that sounds weird I feel like I have but 
I don't, I don't know. I don't think I have because I don't think I've had any. I'll have to go back and check. But these are only $2 and you get two little stems of it. So I think that's a really good price. And this seems like really high quality. Like it feels really good and thick. So I was excited to get this and hopefully use that in some DIYs. Okay, so I got a couple larger items. This actually was $14.97 and it's like this enamelware tray. It's actually like metal. Um, but it's got the black around it and then it says thankful. I really like this. It's a really large piece for $15. And um, I actually have this little shelf above my sink that I never really know what to do with. It's kind of too short to hold like lanterns or anything. So I think this would be really cute back there. And then I might could stick like pumpkins and some of my lamb's ear or greenery down here in the little front. And then whenever fall is over, take that out and put in like little presents or pine cones or something that will go along with Christmas. So I'm excited to find pieces like this. Um, they do put this out for seasonal decor, but this is something that I definitely will use year round. I actually had a red truck obsession last Christmas. If you haven't seen any of those videos, get ready to watch them again to get some new ideas for this Christmas because I'm pretty much going to go along with the same as of right now, I think. I mean, I might make it more like farmhouse-y Christmas, but I still want to incorporate all of my DIYs from last year because I loved them so much. But I saw this little red truck and I had to pick it up. A lot of times I see red trucks and they're just not cutesy. They're more um, older truck looking, which is fine. I love the old trucks, but I really like the cutesy little round trucks, if that makes sense. But this one has two little pumpkins in the back and the little railing. I thought it was really cute. This was $10, so it was $9.98, but like I say, it's really good quality, it's really thick, and it's like a solid piece, so I really liked it. I thought it was really, really pretty. A short break for something unrelated to fall decor, uh, I ran through and got some yarn. I got some inexpensive yarn. I think this was under $2 a roll because there's a DIY that I'm wanting to try and I didn't have any yarn. It's one of those things, yarn is one of those things for me that I buy it for a project and then it sets in a cabinet or a storage bin for years and then I'm like I'm never going to use that again and then I get rid of it and then like a few months later I'm like I need some yarn. So anyways I replenished my yarn and um, I, which I don't think I had white and gray so, so hopefully that will match. Uh, but I really hope this works out. I haven't, I haven't DIY'd with yarn for a very long time so I'm crossing my fingers that this really works. But moving on to the last thing that I picked up is this really large farmhouse tub. I thought this was so cute. It doesn't have a tag on it. It was around $16. Um, the guy had to go and try to look it up because of course when I got it front I didn't have a tag on it. But I love this. It's white with the little round handles. They also had this in galvanized and I had that in my cart and that's what I was going to purchase originally because I didn't see this one. But whenever I circled around the aisle they had another stack of them. But it has like this faded um, worn off farmhouse local and I just thought it was really pretty. And this is something, I have a lot of entryway tables that have like the long shelves I don't really know what to do with. So I thought this would be really uh, neat storage. It's a very pretty piece that would match all of my decor and I could just kind of hide things in there. I even thought about redoing my laundry room so I might even like try to hide like washcloths in there. But that is everything that I picked up from Walmart. I had so much fun checking out their fall decor. Let me know in the comments below if you saw something that you wanted to get from Walmart. I want to go back because as I saw all of it, I filmed all of it, I tried to get the prices on a lot of things, but then whenever I come home and I'm scrolling Instagram and I see all of my friends are picking up these cute pieces that I didn't see or that I just really didn't think about how I could use them. So it makes me want to go back, but I really don't need to because I got a ton of stuff and I was so excited to get it home and try to find a place for it. So I am going to start hopefully very soon decorating my home for fall and getting out all of my stuff. Uh, you all have been enjoying my farmhouse fall DIY so far and thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. So thank you so much. So I really appreciate you coming along with me to Walmart and seeing everything that they have and then checking out everything that I purchased. And I hope that you will make sure that you are subscribed and please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bye! We could run.